Well, I'm here with Dan Harmon from Harmon Brothers. Hey, Dan. Hi, how are you? Good, and I wanted to ask you about how do you set up a character for an ad? You've done all these famous ads, the Squatty Potty, the Poopery, all these things. How do you set up a character that wins over the audience? We look for a couple of things in a really good character. Is one that there needs to be some element of authority in the figure that when they speak about the subject that you believe them. In the case of the prince with Squatty Potty, the prince is a natural authority figure, um, as well as some level. It was the. It was not the unicorn. It was the prince that was the, the character. The prince was actually the authority figure. The unicorn was just demonstration of the actual, you know, the process of elimination. And then if you think of chat books, the mom is both an authority figure, but then there's also an element of relatability. Mm -hmm. um, and so that that's another one. Having some authority, authority. and then having some level of relatability. So relatability. actually the unicorn becomes the character that you relate with more, whereas the prince is the one that's a little bit more of an authority on it, if that makes sense. Um, okay. Fiber fix. Yeah. The same thing. The manly man that jumps the car off the cliff. He actually is both an authority figure because he's kind of a do-it-yourselfer, rough and gruff kind of guy, and then he's also very relatable because people don't want to spend all their time chasing after a part to go fix something and make it right, they want to just have a quick fix ready to go right there. So how would I know if I'm doing a character, how do I know that this person is identifying with my audience? I'm putting myself in their shoes. How do I, what are the key things other than they're just, they know what they're talking about? Um, so portions of it is, is you can, it, it's if you, they can put, well, if they can essentially be an extension of the audience themselves, Yeah. like in the case of the chatbook's mom, yeah. She was representing the the demographic by and large. Okay. It was a little bit of the same thing with Fiber Fix, um, with that character, um, with Goldilocks in purple, purple. She is actually much more of kind of an authority figure in that like Goldie, Goldilocks knows beds, but then she speaks like us, right? Okay. She talks like us. She she's she's relatable in her personality itself, and so. The performer needs to be able to carry that with them, that that kind of level of relatability, and that's kind of what we look for when okay. we cast. And and Dan Harmon, tell us about Har the Harmon Brothers University and where people can take these courses and so forth. Yeah, so HarmonBrothersUniversity.com is where it is. Essentially, we are opening up our entire playbook. This is all the internal training that we give our own people, our own writers, our editors, and all those all all. Basically, everybody that comes um, through Harmon Brothers and is contributing creatively, this is all the same principles and stuff we teach them. And yeah, we basically aren't holding anything back. We're opening up our entire playbook for people to learn what we do. It's an amazing service you provide to the community. Thank you for doing that. Okay, okay so we're going to watch this next video. Dan, could you point this way, point people to the next video? Yeah, right there through Dane's head. <laughs> you do <laughs> that. You do that, and you'll be golden. Yeah. There you go.